All right, we're going to learn how to do a blog. So the title of this particular blog, this, this morning that created, was just listed homes. So each month when you create a blog, you'll have to create a different title. So you could do just listed homes, March, just listed homes, April, uh, whatever the title is, just keep it consistent and uh, just save it something different each, each month. So the way you get there is the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to Georgia MLS and you're going to get these, the homes that we have listed and you're going to save the front picture of each of those to the desktop or to iCloud or wherever wherever you want to save them. And the second thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the blog and you're going to write some verbiage like um, here's latest homes listed by Stan Jones team. And then you can write all kinds of different verbiage all the way down. And then when you want to bring in a picture, what you'll do is you'll go into the link, which is right here. So you insert an image. And you're going to click that. And then you're going to go to this area. I have already uploaded these to this particular area. If it's not uploaded, then you're going to go here. And then you're going to go upload. And then you would go find that inside the desktop. So I hope that made sense. You would choose files and you would go over into your desktop and then there they are inside the folder that I created called Just Listed. So since it's already there, I've already oops, I've already loaded them into this folder. Now I'm ready to just click and drop it in. Now it's way too big, so you have to you have to get it to a size that makes sense. You, if you click it, it'll you can get it to shrink. And the goal is to get it up two on a page. So you get it there. Now you'll go back over, put the cursor right there, and you'll go back over to the place again. Whoops, wrong place. Go back in, and you're going to click the second image. <coughs> Same thing. It's way too large, so you're going to shrink it. Get it small enough, it'll jump. It'll jump there. These image images, although this looks a little larger, uh, when you save it, these are these get distorted a little bit. So they sometimes they're a little bit off. So that's fine the way that is. Now, you would just go through and do all of those. Now let me show you how to link the particular uh, home. So go to the website and go to a search. So when you go into the main Atlanta Homes Today, then you would go in and search for that particular home. So I know that was 1092 Pathview Court, and it should populate to that. When you click that, and this will populate. Go in and grab, I'm going to pull this up so you can actually see what I'm doing here. So you're going to grab the address, copy that address, and then go over into this. There's a link. Where is the link? Oh, I'm sorry. You just do a... Uh, you. You click on it and then you can insert uh, insert a link which is right here you see this little this looks like a chain that's inserting a link so you click that and then you would drop in the address right there and then that saves it and you go to the next one do the same thing you do this insert edit the link and if you would have to go find it so I'm going to go back over and that's 3960. Thirty nine sixty Triton Ives. That should populate. When you click that, it'll pop up. You see this pop up right here. That's very common. After you click on a couple of pictures, then our website requires this. Don't worry about this for this exercise. Just go ahead and grab the address, 
copy it, bring it over, drop it in. And now you have it. So now when this goes live, you'll be able to click on this particular picture and it automatically will link back to the home. Another step that you will want to take is you go below and type in Do that and then come over, slide over, go a little bit deeper into this and then do this. Whoops. So that's uh, since important to have that information down. Putting a comma there is important also, which I missed. And so then you're going to save and exit. And after you save and exit, then it's ready to go live. In fact, it just went live. So I'm going to go ahead and, since this is just a sample, I'm going to delete that out. But that's the way you make a, a blog that would do a just list of homes. From that, then after you click on that, sorry, after you go here um, and you click on Atlanta Homes Today and go to the blog, then you would be able to take that link here or to do your normal thing where you hover over this and get the uh, you get the link that way. Then you're ready to <clears throat> take that link and put that into uh, an email email blast to send out to folks. Hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have questions.